Hi guys and girls on YouTube, welcome to my channel. Um, if you've bought a DeLonghi microwave from Argos and it's failed just outside of the warranty period, um, you've not used it a lot and then it suddenly stopped heating up outside of the warranty period, then you really must watch this video. Now this all started when I got this DeLonghi microwave in for repair. Um, the customer says it's just only just out of its warranty. They bought it from Argos um, and they've hardly ever used it. Which when you look inside, um, you can see it actually looks like brand new. So it's right, they've hardly ever used it. Um, now what the fault was, it was not heating up. Which is used in a microwave, it's either the high voltage fuse that's failed for no reason. Or it's the magnetron that's faulty. So I take it all to bits and I find it's the magnetron that's failed. Um, now it appears to be like um, a, a Chinese magnetron, probably not the best quality. Um, so I just put it down to a faulty magnetron. And generally in a microwave when the magnetron's faulty, unless it's a very expensive microwave, it's not worth repairing. But then I get another DeLonghi in and that's the same story. It's hardly been used, only just out of warranty and it's not heating up. So I'll take that to bits, exactly the same problem with that, the magnetron's faulty. So then I get another DeLonghi microwave in for repair. Uh, this time it's a completely different model um, to the first two I had in. Um, but it does have something in common. Um, it's just out of its warranty. Um, as you can see it's all clean because it's hardly been used. And also um, it's made specially for Argos it says on the side there. So I'm thinking I wonder if this is a bad batch of magnetrons that these have been fitted with. Um, but when I actually get the microwave open, it's fitted with a completely different um, model of magnetron. So I'm starting to think now that there's more to this than meets the eye. Um, this, they, they can't all be a bad batch of different model, uh, models of magnetron. Um, so I'm going to give this a bit more further investigation. So, as you can see, the brown microwave had this magnetron in and the uh, the silver ones have this magnetron in so i don't think for one minute this is a bad batch there's something more going on here with this so let's take a look at a typical uh, domestic microwave magnetron and um, you've got a connection here we call that the filament terminal you've got two terminals there um, you put about 2 volts at 10 amps AC and that warms up the filament inside, exactly like a filament in a thermonic valve. But the difference is, you connect up the filament on the thermonic valve, you can connect it either way round and it works absolutely fine, it makes no difference whatsoever. But on the magnetron, the connections to these, even though they're carrying AC, are absolutely critical. So how do we know which way round to connect it? Well, we tilt it there. And you'll see two words. You'll see the word F and the word FA. Now, like I say, connecting them up is absolutely critical. You get them the right way round. If you get them the wrong way round, what happens? Well, absolutely nothing. The microwave will just work. Um, it, you won't see any difference at all. There'd be no difference in the output power. But the difference is your magnetron won't last long. So, you connect them the wrong way round, you won't even know you've connected them the wrong way round until the magnetron fails. So, let's just move over to the two microwaves in question. Um, I've actually, I've got some microwave oven service manuals here. I've actually printed off um, a piece that's easy to see. So, I'll get something to point with. Just hang on, I'll stop the camera, I'll get something to point with. Right, so we've got a pointer now. So I've printed this out, one of the manuals, it's easy to see. So that's your high voltage transformer. You've got your filament connections there. So if we look at the connection mark F, filament, that goes straight to the transformer and nothing else. The other terminal, FA, goes to the high voltage capacitor and the diode. So if we move over here, that's the terminal F and that's the terminal FA. Right, so now we've established that the single wire mark, the single wire from the transformer goes to nothing else apart from the terminal marked F. So let's move over to a couple of the faulty microwaves and have a look. Right, so let's just start with this one. 
and let's just separate these wires to make it a bit easier to see so i've moved that over there and move that over there so this wire is the single one that goes to nothing else but the transformer and this wire is the one that goes to the capacitor and the diode um, so this terminal here which only goes to the transformer should be labelled F so if we put the torch on and look under there we can get it in focus and as you can see that is going to the terminal mark FA um, if we turn to the other side that's the terminal mark F this one and that the terminal mark F is going to the capacitor so this microwave this magnetron sorry has been fitted the wrong way around in the factory these filament terminals are actually reversed so let's move to the other one now and um, we'll do the same with that we'll separate the wires so you can see where they go that's the single one that only goes to the transformer and once again that's connected to the terminal that says fa uh, once again these are completely in the wrong orientation so that's why these microwaves have failed because they've been wired up incorrectly from brand new so what i'll be doing with these microwaves is putting them back together and i'll be advising the customer to go back to argos because this is clearly a manufacturing error and the fact that I've had three microwaves in, um, two the same and one a different model, uh, the chances are they've all, the whole lot's come out of the factory like that. So if you take these back to Argos um, with a report to say it's a manufacturing error, um, the chances are they'll either give you your money back or they'll repair the microwave for nothing. All right, guys, so that's my video for today. Um, many thanks for watching. I mean, if you want to check your own microwave, at home it's not difficult the the single wire to the transformer goes to f and the one mark fa goes to the capacitor and the diode um, so that's an easy check you can do yourself and um, if you find you've got this problem um, you could just reverse the terminals but the the damage might be already done to the magnetron um, so you'd be better off just taking it back to argos all right guys thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next video